L.A. Dodgers drama like a TV show. Oh, that's a great headline. Every day there's something new that's troublesome with the Dodgers. Now, the Do this is hard to believe that we would be so critical and the Dodger fans would be going crazy wanting to remove the manager. The Dodger record is 76 and 52, John. The Dodgers have won 10 of their last 13, John. The Dodgers have had 18 pitchers on the disabled list. They're about to use their 13th different starting pitcher since June 1st. Now, they're struggling a little bit, and that this is really hard because they, they made all these deals to rent some veterans, but they because their injured guys are now coming back off the DL, they just got rid of Jason Hayward, which surprised me because yeah. I thought he was a super service sub guy. Got rid of Ahmed Rosario. He got picked up almost immediately. They just got rid of Nick Ahmed, who won two games for them and played a really decent shortstop. But that's because all their injured guys are coming back. So they're making some tough decisions. They just DFA'd Brett Honeywell. Now, that was a journeyman pitcher. He used to be in Tampa, was with the Padres of the White Sox. He taught himself how to throw a screwball. He reinvented himself. They DFA'd him with an ERA of 2.22. So the Dodgers, Dodgers having to move guys off the roster to make way for people. And Otani's having this unbelievable power season. 39 bombs, 38 stolen bases. But Otani is hitting 151 since the end of June. That's hard to believe, but he is hitting for power. The bigger question, you know, as we go to September and they go to October, can you afford to send out Walker Bueller every fifth day with a 6.09 ERA? Can you afford to send out Bobby Miller every fifth day? His ERA is 8.02. And wow. they, they've kind of run out of pitchers because they got so many guys on the disabled list. So, man, it's it's like a TV drama. But they're hitting again because Betts is back, hitting again because Muncie is back and just flaring balls everywhere. So maybe the bats will just carry them through the month of September. But I'm they got so many injuries, it shocks me. And I'm stunned that Otani is hitting 151 since the end of June, despite all the home runs and the stolen bases. John Riley, react. React. Well, they got money to burn, right? So they can just DFA these guys. I was surprised by the Hayward news. You were telling me that this, you know, just before we got started. Um, yeah, because you're right. He's a very serviceable veteran. He just won the game against Seattle just a few nights ago. Um, so as the Dodgers start to come back healthy, these veterans, in some cases, it makes you wonder if they're really going to be better than a Hayward or better than an Ahmed Rosario because those guys were pretty good. Well, they were good in roles, but, you know, Hayward's hitting 202. Yeah, he wins that game. He can hit. He'll go chasing fly balls down. He's hitting 202, so he's not going to play for you every day. And, you know, Chris Taylor, after just a wretched first half, was hitting the 280s the second half until he got hurt. So you're going to choose Hayward or Chris Taylor, you know. Well, Chris Taylor is always like a Swiss army knife. To exactly. Me, you know, as opposed to a, a corner outfielder. Um, but it, it's just, it's amazing. The Dodgers with all this wealth, they've got a, they essentially have like a 60 man roster and they just kind of burn the salaries of the bottom 20. Yeah. So a lot of moves, a lot of, a lot of drama and a lot of baseball still to be played. Hey, you're a Padre fan. You're a Dodger fan. Jump online, get in line. The Fans Forum chat box is open for you to call and comment on, ask a question, make a statement. Want to hear from Padre fans looking for Dodger fan in Southern California, whether that's San Diego Dodger fan, that's L.A. Dodger fan, Orange County Dodger fan, jump on board. One sidebar.